Welcome back to Let's Play Revelations, the DLC chapter for Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Trevor is facing off against Zobek's mysterious lieutenant. back and forth between them quickly, but no. That is not the case. Ah, oh, come on! Gabriel took out Zobek. He took on Satan. He took on Satan in this body! I can handle that guy! Entertaining myself. I knew I would have to kill you eventually. Didn't I say that during the main game? Didn't I? Shame, I'm gonna have to use your stupid sword. This one is so much better. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Ooh! He moved fast enough. He's getting faster. He, he does remind me of the uh, Forgotten One. The, life, the timing on all his attacks kept changing. Nope. Got you! Oh, that was awesome! You ready? I'll never be where your weapon strikes. What's the matter? Feeling mortal? Whee! I am Trevor Belmont, the son of the dragon. Your powers are much weaker than your father's. 
and yours are much weaker than your master's. Ow. Dude, not the face. I don't think I could time travel him away from that. Too easy. I knew the voice didn't sound anything like uh, Alucard. Like I didn't think it was just Richard Madden with his uh, with some uh, voice acting on it, uh, voice acting, uh, voice modulation on it. Ow! I, mean, I don't need that yet. Fuck. Right, I know the drill. Ugh, it's such a shame I'm going to have to wear your armor to make this plan work. It is so much less stylish than this outfit. Who ever heard of a vampire with, a with an exposed... Alright, fuck it. Oh, you do want to fight! Sorry, I thought you were just, uh, fucking around. Thought we were having a tea party. Come on, get over here, you lousy Keith. Wait, no, I don't know if he's a demon or not. Still didn't really come out on top, but I overcame that attack, and I feel good about that. Ultimate Glacium, bitch! this time. You are nothing before me. Doesn't matter how many attacks you land, if none of them uh, add up to anything. Counter that, but I guess he decided it was unblockable at the last second. Oh, was that? I didn't even notice if I finished that or not.
you know? There's a reason Gabriel always referred to himself as Dracul and not, uh... And not Dracula. I do this. Why can't I see that one? I can see a thing on it. I see what I'm supposed to do, but I can't do it. There's a, uh, bat- there's a cling point on the, uh... On the fucking scale. Why is this mechanism here, anyway? I'm starting to say there, Dracul means, uh, the dragon. And the real life, uh, Vlad Tepesh was called, uh, Dracula, because everybody called his father the dragon, I believe. Dracula means the son of the dragon. Which technically means that Trevor is Dracula, not Gabriel. I wonder if that means that, uh, Simon would be Draculala. <sighs> My organs. Damn it. I need to do this. Generation was the first lesson I learned from my master. I don't know how to hit him! Oh! You be dead. Pieces, asshole. Shake the dust out first. Zerbeck. We found him. You were right. He is here.
<laughs> Achievement unlocked. Nice armor. Ah! Well, there you have it. That's Revelations, the one and only DLC chapter for Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm still disappointed that the uh, story wasn't set after the ending of uh, after the ending of the main game, but uh, you know, I still really enjoyed that. There were uh, that was really well made. That was head and shoulders above uh, you know the Reverie and Resurrection DLC packages for uh, for uh, the first game it felt like you know it felt the whole thing was way more thought out and better tested and all this than Reverie was you know the puzzles there seemed wildly imbalanced and they even took the time to create a new character who didn't feel unbalanced And, uh, aside from his lack of ranged attacks, I mean. And the final, I was actually worried about that. I, I figured there's no way this is going to end without a boss fight. And I was worried that it would be absurdly difficult, like it was with, uh, with, uh, Resurrection's Forgotten One. Well, I guess that, you know, that does definitively answer one question. Uh... You know, how did... Alucard hide his plan from uh, Zobek for all these years. He didn't. He only just replaced. He only recently replaced uh, Zobek's lieutenant. That was still Alucard the entire time we were watching, uh, the entire time uh, we were playing in Lords of Shadow 2. You know, that would have been Alucard who rescued uh, Gabriel from the uh, Soldier of Satan at the very beginning of the game. But, uh,. Oh, right, because they had the uh, flashback to that scene from the main game. Whoa, whoa, what? What about, uh... Zobek's lieutenant? Huh, maybe that really was Richard Madden with, uh... uh voice modulation. If so, it was so heavy I didn't recognize it. Very special thanks to Bill. You know, I didn't feel like the story was as strong in Lords of Shadow 2 as it was in Lords of Shadow 1. I feel like that was better written. But all in all, this is more satisfying, because where Lords of Shadow 1 was about you know, Gabriel walking through the valley of the shadow of death and then redeeming himself at the very end only to have to throw it all away in order to save the world and turn himself into a vampire. And, you know, Mirror of Fate, of course, was the, uh, as they call it, the dark middle chapter, where even though Dracula is defeated in the end, the way the game is structured, the game ends with uh, Trevor Belmont tragically being defeated and turned into a vampire. But, uh... Oh, look at that. In the, uh, the concept art there on the right, that's Zobek's lieutenant. What the fuck? Maybe that was meant to be where you fought him. Either way, 
Um, the storyline of this game wasn't as strong as in the first game, but it was still, uh, I feel, more satisfying because it was about Gabriel redeeming himself. Proving that he's not just Dracula, the Lord of Darkness. And you know, after being reminded of how much I enjoy this setting and the characters, I am i don't feel so bad about the idea that maybe all of that stuff about this being the end of Lords of Shadow was a lie. I would totally be willing to revisit this world. Congratulations, you've completed Revelations. The powers have been restored, and the lieutenant has been defeated, but you can still keep playing to improve your statistics if you want. In addition, the following options have been unlocked. New Game Plus in the Extras menu, and Prince of Darkness difficulty level in the Configuration menu. I wonder why Marie didn't say anything right there at the end. Let's go somewhere prettier than this. I'm going the wrong way for that. Let's just go somewhere prettier than this to finish things off, shall we? You know, I was, uh... But yes, if I had to, uh, make a recommendation, I would recommend that you play all of these games. All three of them are really well done, they're really well written, and I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. You know, I would include the caveat that you should skip the DLC with the first game, but I see no reason why you shouldn't play Revelations if you enjoyed Lords of Shadow 2's main game. Uh, additionally, you know, if for some crazy reason you uh, insisted that I only recommend one of them, I would have to go in a bit of an unexpected route and suggest... Uh, trying to take the uh, spotlight away from the, uh, the main villain. Main villain. Well, from the final boss, anyway. Be forgotten. Yeah, I read this one. I must have, uh... Oh, I did! I ended the video right there, and the, uh... It must not have saved that in the checkpoint. Embarrassing. Actually, let me just run over here so I can see the moon for a more nice dramatic shot. Well, yes, if I had to recommend just one of these games for some insane reason, I would go with, uh... Mirror of Fate, actually. There, a new tower behind him there. Uh, Mirror of Fate was the most like the old games, so, you know, newcomers are most likely to enjoy it. Uh... Simon Belmont gets a happy ending, which is rare in this series. And uh, even though it ends on a bummer note, chronologically, 
it uh, still you know, the story still ends with Dracula being defeated. You know, I got a hundred percent completion in that game for a reason. But uh. Whether there's any more Lords of Shadow in the future or not, I've completed all the content that currently exists. As of, uh, Sunday, January the 18th, 2015. So, on behalf of myself, Trevor Belmont, Gabriel Belmont, and all of their supporting characters, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, and Let's Play Revelations. And you know what? Since this might be goodbye, I also thank you once again for joining me for Let's Play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, and Let's Play Castlevania, Mirror of Fate. It's been an amazing ride. And I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. I'm Burning Dog Face, as I said before, and I'll see you on my next video series. Later!